Anthony Cooper, Ted McLaren, Tom Sawyer, Ross <laughs> Jackson, oh. Tom Sawyer. I was young and Huck Finn was taken. <laughs> and the ladies loved that one. Made me charming. How about that? How about what? Sawyer's so my name, too. <laughs> Well, you can't leave me. After everything, Don't you can't tell just... me what I can't do, John. Unless you're carrying your father's body on your back. Don't bother. Ben told Albert to tell Locke that. It's all part of the Great Ben Lines plan. I'm you ever been to Jasper, Alabama? Why? Have you or haven't you? Yeah, I've been to Jasper. Don't tell me I'm your daddy. No. You killed my daddy. You had sex with my mother. And then you stole my dad's money all the way. So he got angry and he killed my mother. And then he killed himself. Blah, 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 blah. Mary. Her name was Mary. Mary from Jasper, Alabama. Yeah. I remember her. She practically begged me to take her $38,000 and to rescue her from her sorry little life. It ain't my fault your dad overreacted. If he pulled the old murder-suicide, then I'm sure he's down here somewhere. Uh, maybe you could take this up with him? Finish it! Problem. Anything you want to say to me, you can say in front of her. Not this. It's okay. No, 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 no. You can stay. She says that the boat that she took off from is about 80 miles off the coast, and that if she can find a way to contact it, we'll all be rescued. Why didn't anyone tell me this? Nobody well, we told you. Because they don't trust you. How is she supposed to contact her boat? Did you hear what I just said? Hurley, Charlie, Saeed, your friends are afraid hey. to... How? She had a phone radio thing. Saeed's trying to get it to work. We should tell her. No. Tell me what? We should tell her. Yeah. What is going on? And he had it coming. Facts. Not because of that, but facts. Juliet is a mole. What? She's working for Ben. He sent her back to find out which of our women were pregnant. Three days from now, there's going to be a raid on the beach, and they're going to take them. But you are a cripple. Not anymore. Did, 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 what? 
Did Juliet already tell Jack that Ben has another way off the island? Which I firmly believe. She's telling me she would be a mole. Unless they turn her sister on his back. Because the great John Locke does John Locke things. Another very enjoyable episode. I uh, uh lots of unanswered questions, lots of back and forthness. Um, when I found out that the plane crashed last episode, I was like, maybe they're all dead, and this is like some meta. That immediately got rid of that in my head. It's somewhat surprised to see them play that off this particular episode. Um. I just believe, I just believe that Ben or Jacob, whomever is the uh, person lowest able to make that suggestion, um, had a replica plane or something built um, to have questions stop being asked. I figured out that Locke's dad was Sawyer uh, a few episodes ago. Um, and I figured Sword would kill him, and I figured Locke was bringing him to do that. But step by step, even though you know it was coming, it's like a fastball, fucking Randy Johnson, 101 miles per hour. You know it's fucking coming, you can't do nothing about it. It was still amazing to watch the whole way through. What has Ben up to? Is that all his plan? To get Locke to fucking do what he wanted? I think so. Alfred seems like a relatively loyal guy. Um, and Locke's not, not Locke. And Ben's not an idiot. He, he had to know that Locke, if he had to find a way to kill him, would find a way to get him dead. <sighs> uh, Anthony, fucking real Sawyer, Locke's dad's acting felt very different this episode. Even past the usual doucheness he showed, like uh, in the flashback whenever Locke talks to him after the surgery. And Locke's father's kind of dismissive. You've never felt like this over-the-top, mustache, twirly kind of evil. Very different this episode. I assume that's because he believed he's dead. So this doesn't really matter. Though he didn't seem to be all that willing to fucking... Oh, take it easy, buddy. If you're dead, what's, what's the difference? Whoa. There's this layer of hell, then there's another one after you die. Jack, Juliet, and Kate. Kate is 100% accurate in what she said, obviously. Um, the fact that she went to tell Jack anyway bothers me. Because I don't think she's going to get out of brains, but out of, I don't know what the word for it is, ickiness, jealousy. Juliet had to tell Jack, right? She had to. It's the only thing fucking we should tell her. It's the only thing that would, she would, could tell her that would make any sense in the situation. And if she didn't tell him, fucking Locke has exposed them anyway to Sawyer. This is all coming to a head fast. What a fantastic episode. I got a list. Here's the order of my list. And it's it. This is pretty simple. It all stays about the same. One is Locke, two is Jack, though Sawyer and Saeed gained on him even further this episode, so they would be three and three. For those who are not sure how math works, if somebody's ranked number one and somebody's ranked number two, right? That's two. If two people are tied for a third, how many people are ahead of the next person? Four. That would make the next person fifth and not fourth. Somebody complained about the... the I don't really understand the numbers. Duh. Again, Locke, Jack, Sawyer, and Saeed. Then, Ben Linus. Yes, he broke his tie with Juliet. The man is amazing. If, if what I think went down went down, then six would be Juliet. Seven would be Desmond. Uh, I haven't seen enough of Naomi yet to put her on the list. Eight is still Jen. And we'll see where we go from here. 
Post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. We made the Taste Mask. 360 degrees of pure wing rotation for hands-free wing eating. What the? Hey, Jerry, put this on. He should just feel something that makes me go, I can't do that. I don't even blame Popeyes. Chicken for Popeyes. Okay, I blame Popeyes a little bit.